signing day just under a month away. Jason Jewell, Jared Cohen, we bring you the latest in Arizona high school football recruiting. We are the recruiting roundup, and with signing day approaching, Jason, a very busy time of year, we're going to start bringing you over the course of the next couple weeks the top undecided players from each position. Today, we're starting with the signal callers, the quarterbacks. Man, we have some great quarterbacks in Arizona in this 2014 class. Let's start with the two already committed who actually just played in some all-star games and both started in those games, starting with Kyle Allen that played in that U.S. Army All-American game. He's headed to Texas A&M. Yeah, he had a great game. He had a great week of practice. And everything I've been told is he cemented his spot, at least with Scout.com, as the number one quarterback in the nation. It's very tough to go out and have that ranking. Everyone's expecting you to fall down and, and critique you. He held on to it. Great for Kyle. He's going to be the first quarterback in the history of the state to end up as a number one quarterback in the nation. And then Luke Rebenzer, his buddy, they live across the street from each other. They, he went to Saguaro, committed to Cal. He also had a very good performance in an all-star game as well. Yeah, he played in that blue-gray game, and Luke has that chip on his shoulder because everyone talks about him being under six foot, and can he play Can he at the Pac-12 level? Can he compete at Cal? Well, he, what he did was in a game full of all all-stars, full of Division One talent. He goes and throws two touchdowns and leads his team to a victory. I think right there that shows that Luke has the talent, the ability, and the moxie to be a great college quarterback. Two guys that's going to be a lot of fun to see their college careers unfold over the next few years. And it's unfortunate for us. We enjoyed watching them play in high school, so we hope them the best. Now, Jason, there's four quarterbacks undecided. They're very, very talented. A couple of these are playoff contending state champion caliber quarterbacks. The first one, had a monster, monster senior season. Josh Eckley is still undecided. What's the latest with him? Yeah, right now, I actually think it's going to be down to junior colleges. Every every JUCO in the Valley is all over him because of his dual threat abilities. You know, with the spread offenses and, and people running zone read and quarterback reads, Eckley is the quarterback of the future. He was getting recruited by Arizona early on, you know, possibly as a wide receiver, maybe slash quarterback, but they've kind of fallen off. So I think he ends up at one of the Valley Jucos and then ends up being a Division One guy later on. South Point's Andy Coda has had a great career, especially his last two seasons, led South Point to a state championship this year. He's a winner. Where is he going to end up? Yeah, right now, I don't. I don't the, the biggest school that's still on him is San Jose State. They have genuine interest in him. They're supposed to be down and looking at him again in January, so that might be the Division One level. I know early on, Coach Benet told me that, that Duke and UC Davis had been on him. I, I think they've kind of fallen off, but San Jose State, if they don't end up off him, look for him to also be at a, one of the Valley Jucos. Zach Whirlinger coming off a fantastic year out of Basha High School. What's his latest? Yeah, I, I don't. He doesn't have any offers, no Division One offers yet. He's a kid that could end up getting something late. His father was a very good court, or his grandfather was a very good quarterback at, at, at North Dakota, so he has that legacy going on there, and with North Dakota hiring a new staff, that might be something that might fall into place. I know Arizona Christian is also very high because of his academics. He's well above a 4.0 GPA. And finally, the last player to bring, a, a quarterback that had a great season over at Deer Valley, took them a lot deeper into the playoffs than a lot of people expected, Devin Palomino. He has an offer right now from the University of San Diego. Uh, Missouri State is looking at him heavily, as well as Division II power, Colorado State Pueblo, and the, the Valley Juco, Ju Junior Colleges are very high on him as well. So he's a kid that has plenty of options. We'll see what he ends up doing come February 5th. Those are the top quarterbacks, the top undecided quarterbacks. We're going to bring you every position as signing day comes closer and closer. We'll have the latest with those players' recruitment each and every week on the Recruiting Roundup. This is a very busy time of year. Until then, Jason Jewell, Jared Cohen, this has been the Recruiting Roundup on Sports360AZ.com.